And the congregation at a historic church in Beaufort determined to move forward after fire destroyed their house of worship. Yeah, we brought you this is breaking news last night after yeah. the football game. The cause remains under investigation, but fire officials tell us they do not suspect foul play. Instead, they're pointing to an electrical issue as the potential cause. 11 Alive's Erica Murphy spoke with members of First Pentecostal Church about their loss. The building was built in the 30s, but even before that, there was another church that stood in the same spot that also burned down. First Pentecostal Church of Beaufort has been in this building since the late 90s. My father was the previous pastor. He built the church. We moved in here in 98. The church's membership has grown from just 17 to more than 500, but late last night, a fire gutted the building, leaving just a shell behind. When the steeple disappeared into the roof, it was People were screaming and crying and just a hard thing, very hard thing to see. This devastating tragedy has impacted so many people even outside of Buford. Pastor Copeland tells me that the community has rallied around him and his parishioners. You know, I couldn't really sleep last night just trying to think of the things we still had to figure out. And so they reached out to me this morning offering their spaces. So I do want to say thank you so much to them. That's Buford First Methodist and Buford Church of God. Tynesha Barnes and her family belong to First Pentecostal. She says the fire took the building, but the church is still here. Honestly, I'm a little heartbroken, but I know that it is also just a building. You know, the community and the church members is what makes it a true church. Pastor Copeland says he's planning to take the offers to have service inside another church while work on rebuilding a new First Pentecostal gets started. Reporting from Beaufort, Erica Murphy, 11 Alive News.